Fosco? <laughs> Fosco, listen to me. Fosco! <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> if you understand me, nod. <laughs> Good. Now calm down. Everything will be all right. <laughs> what is it? I... I can't... You can't speak. Why? Vasco, stop. Why? C Cicero. Vasco, please. No! <laughs> Why? You salted. Salt dead in the ruins to get us out. I remember for you. I know. I know. Please go. Inspettore. Where are you going? What are you doing? Cicero! What is... My arm, please. Will you please explain yourself? Thank you. Inspettore, what are you... Quiet, please. What is he doing? Scythe. He's creating a fay. What's he done? Amadea, tell it we mean no harm. My Dementica isn't that... Try! I... Shaista... I... Iguan... Tufisgar... Sen Athav Will... Dugog... What's it saying? I... The words that it's using are more archaic than what I've studied. Come on, Amadea, you've got more than that. Ah... Uh, ah, uh, Rish? Sen Athav Will... Dugog... I don't... I don't know... Try harder. Surely there must be something you can... Why... Do, do, do you... Call? You can understand it. Ask it if it knows about the artifacts. Vila fis, treror. Ega satem. Vel. 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 What's it doing? L -l Lost. Bosco, we need to find the artifacts. Ikara, treror. Treror. Is. Is. Does it know where they are? Ishas? Let them dwell. Let them ifas. Let me go. Let me see. It needs to get its bearings again. We need its word that it will not abandon us. It's a fey, Inspettore. You can't trust it. Yes, we can. Its word. Havar Gershen? Tuartesh. Don will attire. On its on 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 honor. Yes. Let it go. You're insane. Let it go. To do will. Melroy will. I hope it knows to keep the shadows. It will be back tomorrow. 
Yes. Vasco. Good night. He's broken, but he is strong. He will piece himself together, somehow. And he is also right. It's getting very late. Too late for an explanation. I have many questions, Inspitore, but... I'll answer them tomorrow. Good. Then, I suppose we should call it a night. Cal! Something's happened? What is that about? I know better than to pry, sir. No. Damn it. It's late. Vint, you can spend the night. I don't know why she wants to see you. The head matron doesn't summon her people to the Hall of Songs unless it has to do with their legacies. It's the journal, isn't it? <coughs> Calm down, Cal. How? I am this close to losing everything. What are you talking about? I don't... <sighs> Orlana has had one goal since Jaxus died. To find out how and why. And this journal has the details. And more. Jaxus wanted to tell the world about us. To use the sail heart as evidence that we do leave legacies behind. That we deserve our space on the singing tree. He was tired of hiding. Of living a lie. Of being safe. He asked me if I would stand with him in this. 
In fear, I told him that he spoke words of idiocy, that he was being selfish. That night he drank it till he could not see reason. I found his body in the back alleys of a tavern the morning after. Tavern owner said he'd picked the wrong fight. I'm so sorry. When was this? It's only been a year. But it feels so much longer. And the journal? I wrote in it every day for half a year about the incident, about what I would have done different, about how much I miss him. You could claim ignorance. Say that she wrote the entries to frame you. It won't work. Why? Jaxus gave me this. It's an embellished Dementicate glyph for the sunset. The sunset? As a symbol of the meeting of two entities that were worlds apart, sun and sea, and how beautiful they were together. In the journal, I wrote about how he gave me this tattoo and what it means. The matron will see through the lie if I tell her the journal was fabricated. She will know, and I will lose everything. I will see you tomorrow. told me what happened with Jaxus. That's good. In just the span of over a year, he's lost two of the most important people in his life. Now his legacy is in jeopardy as well. Pardon my language, sir, but damn it, he doesn't deserve this. He's already got enough on his plate with the world looking at people like him the way they do. It's not fair. You shouldn't be drinking. You worry him. <sighs> what are you gonna do, sir? What do you mean? Stand up for him, is what I mean. You're not gonna let him go through that, are you? Stand up for... Do you know what that means? It means that you'll be there for him. It means that I'll be defying the Hall of Songs. This is the way people like him have been treated for ages. So you believe that it's right, the way they treat him? Of course not! Then you'll stand up for him! It's not that simple. I don't see why not! I'm just one man! So what?! Who cares if you're one man or a hundred? You believe in something, you fight for it. Simple. And you believe in Cal, don't you? You don't know what you're saying. I'm too young, so I don't matter, is that it? No, Vin, please. I hope you enjoyed your drink, sir. Harold, this will hurt. Just get it over with. Is that the last of them? Yes, Harold. Though, if I might say, the next time you want to heal yourself so rapidly, it would be wise to set the bones right first. I was under dozens of feet of stone. That tends to complicate healing. You're right, I apologize, it was quick thinking. Quite likely saved your life. Dismissed. For the lady. You said he would listen, and he did. Then why is he not here with me? It is part of the plan. The Barati are all gone. They did not fall into the grand scheme of things. How could they not? You have told me what we need to do. Unite the city, repair the broken Medea. How does the Barati not accomplish that? You would not understand. 
Then help me to help me understand why you brought me to such power, only to strip me of it. The next piece is in their hands, and they needed help before they acted. In their hands. The gears are turning. The rivers are flowing. In time, you will see, my child. But till then, you must have faith. Yes, my lady. Time for reading? I didn't want to wake the others. You? Just, uh, thinking. So, you did buy it in the end. It's a good book. I'm reading about how our people in the Second Canticle still feared the Masquerines. I suppose you would be interested in that, wouldn't you? What do you mean? It's testament to how knowledge can change the world. The moment you understand the power of something, how it works, what it can do, the way you use it, the way it shapes the world, changes. And here I was, thinking that you hated history. Oh, I do. Just, uh, not the lessons you could get from it. <laughs> Fair. Fair. What? Have I got something on my face? No, it's just, uh, the others were right. You are quite different. If I might be honest. I'd like nothing else. When we realized that you weren't with us in the Golden Canvas, I was scared. How thoughtful. The last time I felt that way was when I woke up in the Whispering Streets, after what happened in the White Spire. When you could have helped Invidious? Yes. It's the fear of losing something that matters. And I dealt with it five years ago by thinking that it would be better never to have anything to lose than risk losing it all. Not completely wrong. No, but... Lysandra. For five years, I had the opportunity to be a part of something that was important to me. I denied myself of it. And now, I know how much more painful that is. I don't want to do it again. Still, though... You've changed pretty quickly. Cicero, I don't think you know how much effort it takes to be mean. <laughs> you going to stay out? I'd like to read a little more, yes. All right. Good night, then. You finished your thinking? Now I have, yes. Good night, Cicero. What is this? A solution. What are you talking about? Oiled cloth. Calden, what are you doing? I've thought about it. Zelia cannot know. I will not let her take the sail heart from me, or Raz's legacy. She cannot know the truth. Calden, do not be foolish. Talk to me, please. I'm sorry, Cicero. Calvin, stop! <clears throat> Calvin! Give it back to me. Put down the flame. I will do it, with or without the masquerine. How much of my arm will be left after is up to you. Damn it, Carlton, don't do this! What else am I supposed to do? Allow them to take everything I have from me? Burning your tattoo away is going to solve nothing! It will invalidate the journal. I will mend my flesh, clean out Jax's room, and there will be nothing they can use against me. You will lose everything you have of him, Carlton! 
I lose either way! At least this will protect the children and my brother's legacy. Razitov, Jaxus, they both would have wanted this. You know that's not true. This needs to stop, Calvin. Don't let their deaths be in vain. I'm sorry. No! Cicero, you damn fool. Let me see it. Good. Good. Tides take you. What were you thinking? You don't deserve to do this to yourself. No one does. What about the Sailheart and the children? Razatov's chime? Let them take my song. I don't care. But my brother... He should not pay for my wrongs. There is no wrong to even speak of. If they want to take the Sailheart and your brother's legacy, let them try. Between you and me, I think we can take them on. <laughs> Vince said a sticky little thing last night. But if you believe in something, you fight for it. You raised her well, Calden. I didn't do it alone. We won't have to let them know. We'll go to the Hall of Songs first, settle this issue with Zelia and Orlana, and then we'll come back. Then it is your turn to tell us everything, yes? It is. Now... Leaving already? Not this time, boys. The two of you should be resting. The Fae hasn't come back yet. And let Calden deal with this by himself. What? Please, Mariner. You were screaming last night. You really thought no one else would hear? You know? Surprise. And Vasco? Yes. Vasco? His metal is impressive. What's going on? He woke me up before dawn, asked for my help. To what? To... To s speak. And? Not perfect. Mind muddled. Language is floating. But better. Vasco, I'm... No. Now is the Mariner's time. To share... Uh, I support you. Thank you. Besides, your personal life is your own. As long as it doesn't get in the way of the investigation. And since the investigation is waiting for the return of our supernatural friend... I don't believe this. This world... Not always hopeless. I guess not. Come on. I think the coach has space for one more. The others can stay back in case our Fae returns. I'd like to thank you, Marshal, for being so accepting of the Mariner. It isn't so much a feat as you describe it. I'd beg to differ. Supporting Italios isn't quite the most orthodox action. The Luca aren't known for standing up for what is orthodox, Inspiratore. We're known to stand up for what's right. Another verse from the Bright Chorus? No. My father, this time. They're wise words. I only wish more people listened to them these days. We should be getting ready, Inspiratore. Of course. One. W one. Again. One. One. Two. Two. Three. F uh, three. Again. Th three. Th uh, the veil. It's all right. Let's try that again from the beginning. One. Quite eventful these days have been. First our poor friend Salts, 
And now we learn that another is Talios. You've always been a magnet for the dramatic, you know. You don't have to tell me twice. Do thank Lavia for me, if you get the chance. It's sweet of her, taking care of Vasco like that. What can I say? Your friends are our friends, Cicero. Even the Mariner? I was from Rune, Cicero. Our customs are rather different over there. Besides, if there's one thing living in this city does to people, it's open minds. You don't survive long in a world of fire and ice with such narrow vision. Oh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. It was nice, what you did for Calden. He's gone through enough. It would be awful to make things any harder for him. Do you have something else on your mind? You sound a little distracted. Well, I do, actually. That Fey that you created last night. How? Well, Kyrie's explained it all to us. No, I meant the Shive. What were you thinking of? What did you use? <laughs> it's not the shortest story. Are you certain you want to hear it? I'm sure we can spare a little time. When I was younger, I had been Contadani. I had always thought the portieri guards that patrolled the spire had the ripest purses. I haunted the streets around it like a spectre. Me and my fruit knife. You? A cut purse? I did not learn all my skills from the registry, no. One day, I got caught. And the portieri dragged me by my heels up the grand stairs. When we came to the top, I had my breath taken from me. Sprawled out before me was the city that I had hated for cursing me and my family with poverty. But at that moment, from that vantage point, it suddenly seemed beautiful. The guards turned to me and asked me what I was doing. I turned to them and said, I want to be a portieri. What did they do then? Club me over the back of my head. <laughs> no, they didn't. I woke up in a cell, told my story to the Valencio at the time, and the rest is a story of history. And you used that? That moment at the top of the stairs, looking out at the city. I was remembering the wonderment, the drive to make it better, the awe at its beauty, the curiosity at its secrets. And then that fay materialized. I see. Thank you for sharing. Come on. Let's get ready. Where to, sir? The Hall of Songs, please. <laughs> 